All right, so this is an adventure for both of us. Bikes are full of gas, um, one fuller than the other, but you know. All right, let's get out of here then and uh, get back to, what's it called? Belle Glade to grab some food. Oh yeah, I should turn my bike on, shouldn't I? We had that big dike earlier, now we got this little dike. Um, so do you remember how to get out of here? I mean, like how to get back to the main road? Cause I sure don't. You're not finishing the song. Now we have to go to first South Bay, and then uh, then we make it to Belle Glade after that. A few inches later. What is this stuff? We have to we have to. Okay, hold on. We're we're gonna have to come come back around to that. I want to check out that big stuff. All right, so let's check out this big old engine stuff. I think that's what it is, right? Big old like ship engines. Imagine having this piston in some in uh in a bike. Good grief. <laughs> does it does it have enough torque to do wheelies? Yeah, but it freaking twists the bike around completely. <laughs> That's cool. Okay, oh here we go. Oh this is pump machinery. That's what it is. This is a classic Nordberg. 1240 horsepower six cylinder diesel engine. Wow. There's no sign saying you can't come up here. So I'm going up here. Thug life. Okay. This is a 1655 horsepower 11 cylinder diesel pump. And then over here, oh, this is lame. This is just a 225 horsepower three-cylinder diesel engine. If we want pumps, we got it. 3.28 a.m. Oh, we're in Belle Glade. Wow, that was fast. But no, we're not. <coughs> we're apparently, we're in Belle Glade, but we're also two miles to Belle Glade. I'm gonna have to clean the camera lens off when we, uh, if we stop. Hmm. Dirty diaper. A big deal on a delicious meal. <gasps> Look at the puppies. <laughs> All right, let's get some food. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. Riding in the dark, it's a very scary dark. A darky, darky, dark. Black nothing. Headlights show the way. Headlights make us stay. And hopefully we don't get pulled over. Cause it's New Year's weekend. We hope the drunk drivers aren't out. Cause that would suck if they hit us. Oh yes it would, uh -huh. there's a thingy going on here, the cops are brushed by our people, I don't know, whatever it is, we're gonna, what, and then there was one, sort of, cause Auto Pure is going home. Of course, for me, I still have a little ways to go. See, that's the fun. I feel like I feel like with a motorcycle, this sort of stuff is more. Um, not only is it more commonplace, I think, but there's. Well, I guess more commonplace really is all there is to it. It's just like, it seems like there's more incentive to be like, hey, let's go. You know, here's a place on the map we've never been to. Let's go check it out. And uh, I mean. You know, I'm sure there are lots of people that do that with cars, and you can do it with a car, too, but... In fact, I mean, in a way, you could do it almost more easily. But I feel like maybe it's because motorcyclists are enthusiasts versus, like, everyone drives a car, so to speak. 
Um, but I feel like it's just more, it's, it's done more, you know? Come on, light. Turn green. Yeah, baby. Oh, dear. Looks like we got an accident up ahead. <coughs> no bueno. Well, that's kind of a downer way to end this video, but still, you know. Anyways, I'll catch you guys in the next video because I am, frankly, pretty freaking tired. And I'm going to head home, take my gear off, and probably go to sleep. So, see y'all in the next video. Bye.